Ramon. Hi, I'm Miggy. We're both from YDN.ph and we're both WSET Level 2 certified. Which means we know what we're talking about when it comes to wine. So today, we're going to be showing you six ways of opening your wine with or without a corkscrew. We're going to be starting from the easiest way of doing it to the hardest way of doing it. Let's get started. The foil seal is what protects the cork. First method is to just pull off the foil seal. Just get the great grip on the bottle, wiggle it side by side, and just what I'm about to do right now, I'm just going to pull it off the bottle. Just like that. For the second method, we're going to use our waiter's friend corkscrew. On the second notch of the lip, right here, you make a half incision, and then you do the same on the other side. For the last step, you do an upward cut right here, and you peel off the foil. The third method will be using a kitchen knife. Just cut through the side of the bottle with your other thumb guiding the knife to cut through the foil. Once you were able to do that, you can tear through the foil. So now I'm going to be showing you how to actually open your wine using the most conventional methods. First off, let's use a waiter's friend. Waiter's friend, tried and tested way. And I'll show you how to use it. Let's get started. Get the pointed tip of this worm or this, the cork screw itself little off center of the cork. Push in, start twisting when you feel it sink in, and straighten it out while you're twisting. Twist in deep until you leave half of a twist visible. So once you've got your screw in up to about here, you get this side of the cork screw, lock it in place into the lip, and you can start pulling it out. Second step of pulling it out is have the next part of that lever, lock it in place into the lip again, and pull it out all the way. And that's how you open your wife with a waiter's friend corkscrew. Second conventional method would be to use a wing corkscrew. It's named after these two wings right here. You will use to pull on the cork, get it out of the bottle. First step would be to press the corkscrew. Don't apply too much downward pressure because you might have this bottle accidentally slip. Make sure it's firmly in place and just twist down and you will see that the wings will start to rise. Once you've got the wings about knee high, you can start pushing down. See the cork just pop right out of that bottle. If a little bit of the cork is still in there, kind of just wiggle it around. And you've got an open bottle of wine. Third conventional method would be to, if you've ever checked your Swiss Army knife, yours might have a corkscrew. What makes this different from your waiter's friend? So the waiter's friend has that lever mechanism. This one relies mainly on your strength and how careful you are. You use too much strength and you might destroy the cork, leaving half of it stuck inside that bottle. Similarly with the waiter's friend, have that corkscrew a little off center. Push down when you feel it sink in. You can start twisting and setting the corkscrew upright. You don't really have to leave that space I was mentioning earlier because this corkscrew is a short one. Once it's in there deep, just pull on the Swiss Army knife and you've got an open bottle of wine. What if? You don't have these tools. We'll show you how to open your wine using items that you probably have at home. When all else fails, you can always check your kitchen drawer or your desk drawer. You'll probably find these two items. Your marker and your wooden spoon. Today, I'll be using the marker. Just make sure your marker is sanitized. We'll be using this to push down the cork inside the bottle. Step one is to put it on top of your cork and to forcefully push it down the bottom with your two hands. Just be careful because you are going to make a mess. And that's how you push the cork inside the bottle with a marker. If you're the DIY type who has a complete set of tools, why don't we use a screw and this hammer? Crucially, I would suggest let's use a long screw because if we had a shorter screw, we may not get it in deep enough to have that leverage in getting the, the cork out. Have that screw dead center, twist it in, preferably using a screwdriver. So after endeavoring to get the screw in that deep, let's use the hammer to pull it out. 
get it in there and just and that's how you open a bottle of wine using a screw and a hammer the last method is for when you're truly desperate and you have nothing else to open your bottle of wine with. What you need is a shoe with a very flat sole and your bottle of wine. What you're going to do is you put your bottle of wine inside of the shoe and find a very sturdy wall to bang it up against. You need to place it perpendicular to the wall and bang it as hard as you can but also be gentle not to break the bottle. Let's do it outside! So, those are six ways on how to open your bottle of wine with or without a corkscrew. This, of course, doesn't include how to open your bottle of sparkling wine, which is another video altogether. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you liked it, please do leave us a like. If you want to know more about wines, please hit subscribe. Again, this is Almond and Miggy from winery.ph. Until next drink, cheers! <laughs>